looks like we're all alive. All right. Maybe. Where are we? I don't know actually. I'll open the stream. Yeah, I'll have it open too. Let's see here. Yeah, we're live. Okay. Greetings, StarCraft community. I am Forseti, and you are watching another Diamond Weekly tournament hosted by Team Bloodlust. With me here, I have a guest caster by the name of Kalma. Hello, guys. Hello, Kalma. Hi, what's up? Um, it looks like we were supposed to have three players today, so. Um, and the third player didn't show up, so we're just gonna have this one, uh, one match. But, so um, straight to the finals. Straight to the finals, but if the players are up for it, we're gonna push it to a best of five since there are only two players. Sounds awesome. Yeah. So. Just waiting for Magnus to finish his game. Alright. So. Oh, so it looks like a ZVZ finals. Yeah, a ZVZ. That's exactly what it's going to be. Alright. Uh, it's it's gonna be kind of exciting because uh, I've played Wartox a couple of times and he's beat me every time like really hard. <laughs> and uh, I've played Banks a couple of times and he is in our um, in our team. He's uh, currently our best player. Oh, uh, nice. So it will be exciting to see those uh, two fare against each other. Manx played the last um, Diamond Weekly, but uh, I think the Wartox got knocked out earlier. Okay. So uh, Manx faced uh, a guy called Ruben instead. Cool. Yeah. So a ZVC between a high diamond, I see. He used to be Masters, he's doing pretty well this season in the ladder. He's yeah. ranked 2 diamond, 68 wins, 42 losses, so that's really nice. Yeah, but Wartox's uh, strength is relies actually in Terran versus Terran. I think he has like 74% versus Terran or something. Oh, nice. So, a lot of that comes from that. That's but quite a feat considering, you know, the all the balance wines, you could call them. Like, yeah. especially, especially from pro players like, you know, Widow Mine 2, Strong, uh, Marines in the late game, and just general, you know, pro, uh, Terran late game, you know. Yeah, but then again, the cool thing is that all tier 1 units are useful in the late game. Yeah. Um, Zerglings and Zealots and Marines are useful in the late game, but they all need uh, upgrades. They all need to have uh, charge. They all need to have. Well, uh, one one has to need. Uh, was one needs to have charge. Another needs combat shield and stim. And the third needs speed to be useful. Speed, speed, and adrenal glands. Upgrade. Yeah, and adrenal that glands as well. Because like that's, I just cry tears of blood every single time when I see a Zerg going, you know, Ling, Ultra or something. They get to Hive and they never ever get the Adrenal Glance upgrade. I just try, uh, you know, yeah. cry tears of blood every single time I see <laughs> that happen because that upgrade wow. kicks ass. That sounds grotesque, dude. <laughs> <laughs> just kills my little Zerg cards every time. So, uh, well, the stream at least doesn't seem like it's lagging right now, so... Actually, I have a pretty bad internet connection because I'm staying at my girlfriend's house and, you know, the house is, well, it's under construction and it's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> so ju just shut down the stream is fine. I, the important thing is that we can hear you and that you are can yeah, commentate on what's so happening. So. As long as nothing happens, I can, you know, keep the stream open because then I see it actually works. So, and right now it seems to be just fine. Doesn't start yeah. nothing. But yeah, I'll close the stream now because I think we should be ready soon. Like, at least from a, what what I saw in the chat, he seems to be ready soon. Yeah, good. he said he's soon ready. Um, I asked him how his match fares and he says uh, he's soon done. So, yeah. This is the great thing about, you know, being a, well, growing up in Finland because, like, uh, you actually, it's compulsory to, you know, study Swedish in the, you know, uh, elementary school and high school. Yeah. So, you actually 
pretty much have to learn the language if you want to <laughs> get out of there. So, um, and because like Swedish, Norwegian, uh, I think that language they speak in De <laughs> Denmark. I don't Danish, Danish. Yeah, Danish. They're, they're all pretty much pretty much the um, same language. So if you if you know one of them, you know pretty much all of them. So I can actually just open the stream and actually understand you. So yeah, that's pretty, nice. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, because uh, Swedish and Norwegian is pretty much, at least on paper, it's very easy to see the yeah. difference. But Swedish, yeah, I yeah, think there are some uh, different, um, what do you call them, letters, but you know, the language stays the same. Pretty yeah. Much. And basically, th there are some very weird words in Swedish that we Norwegians just can't comprehend. But um, most of it is. Uh, completely um, manageable it's, not, it's very easy to communicate across those languages and I, I wonder why actually why you finish learn uh, Swedish in school um, uh, I don't actually know for sure but I would think it's because you know back ages ago like in the fucking middle ages or something um, Finland was actually under the rule of uh, Sweden and then when we get to like the 19th, no, 20th century, uh, World War One, World War Two uh, happens, and Finland is still not considered a real country. It's just a big piece of land. So Russia takes over, and then we are under the rule of the Russians for some time, and finally get independence because, like, I don't know, was it Lenin or something? But he just decided that the people of Finland would be, you know would accept him better if he just gave them like some sort of independence so yeah we could actually speak our own language that had been around forever which is Finnish for those who do, to, for those of you who don't know I'm a little bit drunk because I'm actually <laughs> hot in here but that doesn't matter because this is dark um, but yeah um, then we got independence and became a real country and <sighs> I don't actually know why we don't have to, you know, learn Russian in schools, but well, shit happens, and now we have to learn Swedish instead. So, <laughs> yeah. so that's probably the reason. No, yeah. I, I think it's it's probably pretty um, good for you since you, I mean, you are toe to toe with a country that has a very different language from you, so it's probably useful in that way. But yeah, again. it's definitely useful, like, even here in Finland, we have, actually, it's a mm, bilingual country, like, we have o two official languages, Finnish and Swedish, and because of that, that also adds to the fact that we have to learn Swedish in school, and there's actually separate schools for people who are, like, their parents are Swedish or something, so they can just go to a school that's like totally Swedish, like they don't have to speak a bit of Finnish there. Uh, oh, this is really weird. Oh. <laughs> we have to do a reroll. I thought about 50, I thought about, ah, I'm just gonna do this, and both of them chose 50 as well. <laughs> so this is just really weird. Okay, okay let's so do it again. I guess everyone should, you know, always pick 50 because that's straight in the middle, so your chances yeah, of I think actually getting closer would be, like... I think Manx uh, said that last time, uh, was that, wouldn't it be better to choose, um... Oh, why do you leave? So yeah, maybe, you know, change the, um random number system you know do like 1 to 99 or something so that there's like not a clear you know midway point you know like when you have 1 to 100 there's like a waste that middle point 50 like take like 1 to 99 so it's either you know 50 or 49 or something 
Okay, this time it wasn't that close. <laughs> that was really weird. <laughs> so, Vortex gets the first map pick. The map pool is all ladder maps, yes? Yeah, only ladder maps. Uh, and I love the introduction to the ladder maps, the search function. Oh yeah, that's awesome. I hate scrolling through all those maps. Yeah. So you just find that. Uh, how much have you actually, you know, got to know the new pads? Like, there's been a ton of changes to the um, observing and replay UI. Uh, well, I haven't actually tried it yet, out yet, so uh, I think I'm going to play around with it a little bit in the weekend and learn how it works, because right. it's slightly different than the other ones, and then hopefully we'll have it for n the next week, because it looks a little bit more sleek and simple. Yeah, it's basically the same game hard option observing, you know, UI that like DreamHack, Asus ROG, MLG, everyone uses. So I think it's a nice addition, but then again I'm bit, a bit sad that, you know, they took it in, into the game, like just straight implemented it and never gave any, you know, credit to the actual makers of the game hard UI. Yeah. Well, but well, pretty much everyone knew it was gonna happen, so, you know. Well, uh, we're gonna have Whirlwind on our first uh, map in these best of five series. Zerg versus Zerg. And that's also your main race, so. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna be in an really, adva advantage really here. Is the time here. Yeah. <laughs> because ZVC was actually my best matchup for a long time. Like in Wings of Liberty, like the really late Wings of Liberty, ZVC was way my best map matchup. Yeah. Like I had something crazy like. 85, 90% win rate. Oh, that's really high. Yeah, that's, that's really cool against your own race because you, you're you starting with the same pieces, you have exactly the same units, so it's very difficult to, s to see where you are ahead and where you are behind. Yeah. And also, I like mirror matchups, like, even though ZVZ can be, you know, just terrible, I like the fact that, you know, it's against my own race, so I know every single trick you can do as that race. So it's if if you you know see that okay he might be doing something like this, then you like okay I know what you're doing. Yeah. But anyway, um, seems like we have cross positions. Yeah. Do you want to do the honors of introducing the players since you're the guest caster? I could actually. Um, here in the bottom. Left position, we have the Green Zerg Manx from Team Bloodlust. Team Bloodlust Manx! <laughs> and you can take Waters. Okay. And in the other corner, north eastern corner, I'm terrible at these thi things, things. <laughs> we have Wartox. No longer from Team FTC as he was before, I think. I don't know why. Maybe he's decided to go solo. Well, alright, so nothing extraordinary yet. Um, this is, well, every know, everyone knows we're in this big map, so, and since this is cross position, I would, you know, assume they both go for hatch first, but, or some other kind of uh, fast expand, but uh, Vortex is actually getting up really early gas. And yeah. Manx is following up with, I, I think Vortex went for like uh, 12 gas and 13 pool or something and Manx went for a bit later gas and a bit later pool like he, he should be just fine because like he's still getting the surgery speed he's still getting the pool but he has a couple of extra drones so that's really gonna help well he doesn't have extra drones because you know they're both at 13 yeah. <laughs> but you know, he, he's had the drones before, so he oh. has a slightly bigger income. Yeah, the only difference I saw in the beginning was that Manx did the extractor trick and Wartox did not. He just made an overlord earlier. Yeah. So. Please God, let this be an extractor tr trick. Oh, yeah. Look at the minimap, it's just <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous. It's, it's like. Uh, 
And they're doing almost the same build as well, both are getting speed at the same time. Queen about the same time, Zergling's about the same time. Yeah, but Vortex is actually, he's staying in gas and he's making a lot of links, so he's actually planning on being aggressive now. Yeah. And Manx was out of gas for a while, but I don't know what triggered him, but he's gone back to gas now. Yeah. So, he usually, I, I find it very weird that he's doing this because he usually always does a macro build. He dislikes going one base pushes, but I think maybe it's just it wants to make sure that your opponent is not doing what he's doing right here. Oh, he's getting his Max is getting his Zergling up caught off guard, and Vortex has six more in the production now eight. So Max Max could actually be in a lot of trouble here. Both have bailing nests coming up. This is a very, yeah. I mean, Max, this star were off actually choosing this exact same number, so that's probably the beginning of uh, everything here. Yeah. All right, Max is getting bailings. He only needs two, but he's actually getting five, and Vortex is getting four, which is. Cool number, but he doesn't actually have that many circles left. So, so well, <gasps> oh, oh, that, that was, was close. <laughs> I find it so weird to watch Zerg versus Zerg. It's it's such a f funky matchup. Yeah, it's really in if it goes like this, like Ling Bling against Ling Bling in the early game, like. One micro mistake and you pretty much lose the game. <laughs> and Vortex has gone back to making drones, so I guess he just wants to, you know, expand soon and try to play a micro game. Yeah. Banks is a little bit ahead of army supply, but that's. Just yeah, Manx is thing. actually just going to all in now because he knows he's ahead. He killed a lot of links with those banks, and. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he's sending in more reinforcements. I. Uh, this is very weird to watch because he almost. Oh, I've never seen him do anything but going um, uh, hatchery first. Yeah, Actually, so I don't know. It could be, you know, Whirlwind, as I said, it's a big map, so. Mm, <laughs> that's not good. Alright, that's pretty much the end of that. Like, he yeah. That. Uh, I mean, he, he does have a couple of more links, and he, he got down a queen actually, that's pretty good. Oh, that's that's pretty huge actually. And Vortex should, probably shouldn't have placed it there. Yeah, and Vortex is actually pretty badly supply boxed here. Yeah. But yeah, like I was saying, um, you obviously know Manx better than I do, because this is the first time I'm actually seeing him play, but... Yeah. Um, uh, I think the reason why he's doing this kind of build is because, like like I said, uh, Whirlwind is a big map, so people expect to, you know, fast expand on this map. Yeah. Maybe he it's some kind of meta game, like, yeah. he knows something about Vortex that he might go for early aggression, so he just <laughs> plays it safe and goes for the same build himself, so, like, he doesn't want to, you know, lose to some kind of silly ling banging all in from one base yeah. or something. But he's forcing uh, forcing Vortex to keep making links as well, because even though Vortex is slightly ahead in um, drones, he's not... I, is it really a big deal in, in the beginning of the game? Because yeah. Zerg can't just make drones really fast anyways to get back into that. Yeah, I think Manx, he should just Try to delay the um, expansion of. Oh, that's a nice pinning hit. Yeah. Got a lot of links there. Yeah. But yeah, um, I think Nine should just Ooh. try to delay the expansion of Vortex uh, for as long as he can. And oh, oh, that's a really nice that's, spread for that's him. That's really nice. But is it gonna be enough? No, it's not. Manx has lost. 500 more resources in terms of that's quite good units. but he is trying to expand right um like i said manx that while that, that attack was good i think it actually wasn't good enough because like he had the superior army everyone knows that he should yeah. have delayed vortex's expand as for as long as he could and then expand himself like like we see here now uh, vortex's hatchery has been done for 25 seconds while Manx is 10, sec 10 seconds before. 
well, behind. So, while it's not that big of a deal, it can in ZVC make a difference because, you know, all your units come from lava and lava comes from hatcheries, so... It, but he might actually force a cancel here. Yeah, cancel. But he's going to lose all of those links. Guaranteed. Yeah, this is not good for Manx. Yeah. But he did actually delay his hatchery a little bit more, so he's ahead yeah. that way. And he's making defensive bandings, that's really all he needs. Yeah. But Vortex is going to our lair. I don't know why. Like, he doesn't have the gas to actually support muters or anything, so I don't quite understand this. But then again, he is in the lead, so he can tr do pretty much what he wants. So. Yeah. Oh, uh, just one link. Uh, get that uh, out. Nice macro, uh, micro by Manx. Yeah. And Vortex is pulling back like he should. But the harvesters are uh, actually slightly in favor of uh, Manx. Who would you actually say are ahead right now? Um, it's really hard to call, you know, because like. Vortex has a bit of better tech, like he has Lair almost finished right now, but yeah. um, Magnus on the other hand has, he has six more drones, he has had his expansion done for a while, while Vortex's expand is just now complete. So it's, and he's going for Mutus, so I don't know, I don't like this Mutus switch because like, like I said, he still he's still on two gas, he doesn't actually have the gas to support Oh, well, that, that's actually pretty true, so if you just put a one spore caller in each base, everyone yeah. will be enough. Yeah, especially after the spore buff, like, two spores e at each mineral line just, you know, cancel mutas out completely, like, and especially when your your uh, second base is this delayed and you've been on two gas for so long, there's really no point in going mutas. Like, a simple... Roach plus one timing would just straight up kill you. Uh, by the way, to the viewers, if you're finding the stream choppy, try to refresh because I did just did that and it helped. It's now pretty fine, actually. But it's on my end. Yeah, it's on my end, fine too. But then again, Manx is going for a spire as well, and Vortex has his spire complete soon, so. Yeah. This could actually turn out to be pretty interesting because. Well, well, if Max just took one Evo and went for Vortex, he would just straight up kill uh, Vortex. But as he is, they both go for Spire. Uh, Vortex has started his first Mutas. Uh, he's getting the uh, armor upgrade and somehow Max actually knows he's putting down two Spark Towers. Hmm. Let's see if he actually saw... No, he hasn't seen anything, actually. But I think he's just doing that in uh, defense. Yeah. Or just... I mean, if he immediately knew that they were coming Mutalisk, he would probably put down more than one. Yeah. I think it's just that he thi he's thinking I think now. He I think he just wants to play it safe. Yeah. yeah. But then again, he is so far behind, like, Vox's third base is halfway done. Uh, Vortex has his first mutas out, his armor upgrade is halfway done, and Manx has just finished his fire. Like, this is gonna be real tough to get the third base. Yeah. I've heard that, uh, at least before the spore cha change, uh, ZVC were pretty much all about the mute account. Yeah. Like, ZVC before the spore buff, like, it was just all. Is Max oh. actually got a pretty good trade there? Yeah, yeah like, he did. He, he only lost one queen to like two or three mutas. That's, yeah, that's a trick I would take any time. Exactly. I mean, even even losing a queen for for one mutalisk is worth it in terms of resources. Yeah, but you know he doesn't actually need the queen right now because you know he's completely relying on the mutas and. Yeah. Check his gas count, he has 150 gas. Yeah. He can only make one muta, so one inject doesn't actually matter all that much. And uh, they're actually at about the same uh, count of mutas uh, right now, even though Max was way behind in uh, the ha uh, 
in the spire. Yeah, but that's completely due to the fact that Nanx got his gases earlier, yeah. so he's been able to catch up. But like I said, this is going to be the problem for Nanx. He just never can get his third base up. Yeah. Which means because Vortex has his third base up, he's taking his fifth and sixth gas. This is going to mean that in a couple of minutes' time, Vortex has doubled the mute account of Manx. Yeah. That's gonna be a real pain in the ass because and if, uh, if Manx just keep trading mutas with Vortex, uh, Vortex will eventually win. Yeah. So. Also this is a... Uh, but well, then again uh, Vortex shouldn't be losing all of this. If yeah. he... He has the upgrade but that's actually not that great when you have like five less mutas so... Well... Watching these uh, things fly away of the map. Not much else going on. Yeah, Max is trying to do some harass, but there's a queen, Mudas, and a spore. And a spore caller, so there's no way yeah. he's gonna break that. Yeah, he's not gonna do anything. But he's taken in his links and banelings, though. I think he. If he, he just gets that. Yeah, but the fact is, he only has six links to, uh, despite having 2,300. Minerals, so that's actually really bad. Yeah, Wardogs is waiting in middle here in order to strike if he can see an opening. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so far it's been pretty even, but or at least I feel like that the supply yeah, is pretty it's, even. It's They're doing the same things. Sorry, I'm just throwing two uh, macro hatches. Uh, that could, you know, I think. He realized that he has so many minerals that he actually just wants to spend them on links and do a huge counter attack. But meanwhile, he's losing all of his mutas, and this should pretty much be a GG. Yeah, GG for Manx. So, yeah, like I said, CVZ is a matchup where you make one mistake and you pretty much lose the game. So, yeah. this, this game, Manx had the. Um, uh, he made the one mistake in the early game. He actually, yes, he um, delayed the opponent. He forced a cancel on Vortex's uh, natural, but it was actually too late. He should have gone it way earlier. Like he sh when he had the um, superior army, he should have just waited in Vortex's natural, spread his, spread, spread his units, and just delayed the hatchery forever. Yeah. Meanwhile, expanding himself. He didn't do that. He tried to run off the ramp, he lost all of his links and basically basically did no damage at all. And well, yeah, he got the natural hatch before Vortex, but well, meanwhile Vortex had such an impressive lead in tech and Vortex actually got the third base done yeah. when um, Manx had his just started. So, that meant that uh, Vortex got the 5th and 6th gas, uh, which meant obviously more mutas. And, you know, ZVC, where both players go mutas, the player with more mutas just simply. We're gonna have New Kirk for the next map. Uh, Manx chose that, and he. I think that's one of his favorite, most favorite maps because he usually chooses that map when, <laughs> when he wants to win. Alright, we're starting the game. Uh, still, for those of you growth guard, if you're lagging, refresh the stream. It's gonna help. It helped for me. It usually helps. Is uh, playing very smoothly here. So, um, Nurkirk, uh, Nurkirk. Um, this is quite an interesting map. Like in ZVZ, it pretty much doesn't matter what kind of map is, but. Uh, in other Zerg matchups like Zerg vs Terran and Zerg vs Protoss, this is actually I dislike this map because like the um, third base is like the further away third base. That's like there's two main attack paths there, and it's kind of far away. So um, let's say any Banshee or Phoenix openings, Void Ray openings, they're just really tough to deal with. And yeah. Yeah, I don't know, like, the old Newkirk was a lot worse, because they didn't have the, um, it was such a, well, it was basically Shakaro's Plateau all over again, like, choky middle, just 
Terrence went mech, um, Protoss did their macro death ball and just a mode to win. Because like the Zerg had no opportunities to ever counter attack. But with this map, with the changes they made, you can actually, there's a couple more options to actually counter attack and harass. So yeah. it's, been, it's been made better. For CVC it doesn't really matter all that much. Yeah. I agree. Um, Manx well, is actually going for the same build. Yeah. That's Vortex is uh, delaying his gas, probably going uh, yeah, more hatchery Vortex first. Yeah, Vortex is probably going hatch first. Yeah. And it's... While I personally don't like drone scouting, it's always nice to do because like... Here Vortex knows that Manx is going to be aggressive, so... He might not go for the hatch first, but he does anyway. But now he knows that he must must uh, throw down the pool as fast as possible. Because if he goes for, let's say, hatch first, then gas, then, oh god, he's going gas first. Never mind. Uh, yeah, like I, was saying, <laughs> like I was saying, if he goes gas first and then pool, he's just gonna be screwed. Yeah. Because, like, Manx is, if he is smart, he just um, goes straight to bailings and speed and just rolls over. Vortex, because like Vortex just now started his pool, yeah. while Anx already has his pool complete. Just yeah, then. he might already do some damage because if you just send his first links, then there's only gonna be drones to defend that. And he well, kind of has to actually that. building a drone. I don't actually know what's going on. Um, but well, if Manx doesn't attack, well. Vortex has a huge lead in the economy, but Manx is throwing down the bailing nest and he is making more zerging, so I think he realized the si realizes the situation and is going to be aggressive, like he should, because like, this is, you know, Manx's build is pretty much designed to kill Vortex's build, like, yeah. first in the gas, in the pool, is like, well, it shouldn't, it's as greedy as you can get. But Vortex is playing this quite nicely. He's uh, adding a spine crawler in his ma uh, main ni mineral line, and he's getting main nest before speed, because like when you're defending, speed doesn't actually help you all that much. The bending nest is much more important, especially against um, yeah certain bending audience. You want uh, the speed for reinforcements, or is it another reason why you're doing it? Um, yeah, you want the speed for reinforcements, and uh, if you want to be aggressive, you always want to have it because then it's a lot easier to manu maneuver uh, around banes. And you know, if you see, let's say the Zerg, other Zerg player uh, blocks his ramp with two queens. Oh, uh, Manx is going to be aggressive here. He has yeah. speed links, and he has way more links, so he can just easily go in, attack a little bit, and go out without taking any damage. But Vortex is making 12 links and 2 banings. This. I don't oh. know. It totally depends on the micro. Like, that yeah. one bailing from Manx was actually just. That terrible. was perfect, yeah. But this could be. Huh? I don't know. It's so hard to call this. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, he, Manx is playing very safe here. But yeah. he, he's denying Wotox any ability of using that hatchery, so that's ha that hatchery is basically useless for the time being. Well, not exactly, because he still gets the uh, larva from the hatchery. Yeah, that's so true, that's true. Wotox but he won't be able to get any economy out of it, so... No, but he doesn't actually need the, uh, need the economy, because, like, yes, Manx just finished his uh, natural... Experiment. Yeah. But he just made eight things, and that is... Oh! Oh, that's really nice for Wotox. Yeah, that's pretty much the end of this aggression. Like, well, it oh doesn't well, look like it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought, but well, apparently not. But yeah, this is what happens when you lose an engagement like that. You just have way less links, and you just have to run back home and defend. Yeah, like, there's no way you can actually do any damage anymore. Also, I don't like the fact that uh, Manx is making so many bangers like when he when you're defending like this amount of links like Vortex has has like ten links. You only need two bangers for that. Because like bangs one shot zerglings so m building five bangs you lose five links and you also pay twenty five minerals and twenty five yeah. as for each bang. So that's a huge investment. 
And because Benning's uh, at this stage of the game, they obviously don't have speed, so you can't really bring them. Oh! Ah, huge burning hit. Yeah, that actually didn't do much. <gasps> oh! Well, yeah. <laughs> Payback time! <laughs> you could actually. If Manx tries to. Yeah, he's not going to do it. Yeah. But it seems really that uh, Warlock is really efficient with his engagements. Yeah, Warlock is marking it perfectly. Like, he's always he's sacrificing one or two links to kill one Bane. That's always a trade you want to have. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, Banelings are really expensive at this stage of the game. Like, both are at 19 drones. That's not a lot of income. So, having one Zergling transform into a Baneling that costs additional 25 to 25, that's actually a huge commitment. Max is going at it, at it again. Yeah, he's not gonna give up. I think <laughs> he he just wants to keep Warlocks down. He doesn't want him to tech, but Warlocks is even though he's he's going a lair, so he just uh, he doesn't want to stay like this for for the whole game. Yeah, Warlocks is playing this really nice like like he he's not taking any chances. No, he's he's constantly making Zergrins just to be safe and um. He actually has a three drone. It looks like actually Manx is trying to go the uh, widow mine strategy, where he just try to <laughs> make as many widow mines as he can, hope that someone will blow <laughs> something <laughs> off. Yeah, but the difference being that widow mines are, are actually. Oh my God! Banelings versus Banelings. This is really, really exciting. <laughs> oh, he actually gets into the game. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm seeing a lot of blue, but Max just what? blew it. He should have uh, like he got like 20 links in the uh, what exists main base. He just, when you get that many links into your opponent's main base, you always have to run to the mineral line. Yeah, kill as many drones as possible because like this is still a low econ game. They're both under 25 drones. Yeah. Look it's at the supply at 11 minutes and you have 40 supply that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like this is so low econ game. Like, if Manx actually went into the uh, main base of Vortex and killed a bunch of drones, he would have such a lead. Oh, well, he saw the lair, but he actually, well, he has killed zero workers this game. And he could be so far ahead if he just made the right decision, but hey, live and learn. And he's going to try again. But I don't think he's going to break this. Like, there's one no. evil as a block, two spines. Yeah, there's no way he's going to break this. Nine and a ton of links like this is never going to work. He has to get, like, the luckiest pain in hits ever. Yeah, and, uh... Man, Wardrex is already ahead of tech, so... He's even got in the plus one armor on his ground units. Oh, he got two. No, he got one oh, bailing there. With nice. Third he's bailing. setting in all his. No, he's not. Okay. Oh god, don't chase those. Yeah, exactly. Hello, circlings. <laughs> Botox is actually not paying attention. To uh oh. You. Oh, why did he go for the Evo chamber? Oh, oh he. Well, okay, he cancelled the upgrade, but now oh, actually they lost all those links to the main link. Yeah. This is a very volatile game. Yeah. I mean, lots of things are happening, but nothing is really happening, if you know what I mean. Yeah, there's just a ton but of explosions. They're trading links and bane links, that's what's happening. Uh, yeah. Warlock's getting a couple of drone kills here. Did he? Oh, no, he actually just got actually one. one yeah. So... And yeah, he has a lair, he has 1,300 minerals, minerals and 1,100 gas, but he doesn't actually have a spire or roach warren or... Well, he he just can't spend those minerals because he's only injecting with one queen at the moment, so... Yeah. That's... Okay, he's for bailing is for Manx, he's not gonna give this up. <laughs> <laughs> he really Warlox is not going to keep taking, but he, I think he has a little bit more harvesters now. Yeah, he has five. Yeah, he has yeah, five more. Because he just made a spine crawler, so it's only five. The Warlox is really losing those bangers. 
too easily. Like he's lost like six bailings for six zerglings right now. So yeah. Actually, really good for Max. But still, I don't think Max will ever. Oh. Play. Especially with Michael like that. I I don't know about sacrificing one bailing to kill uh, one worker. Is any good? Yeah, that's awful. Like, <laughs> you should never do that. I mean, Especially he's. Because, like, one bailing doesn't actually kill a drone. You actually need two bailings. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I see that Manx is behind when it comes to uh, resources uh, lost and stuff. He's lost way more. But it's not game breaking. I mean, he can easily come back into this game if he doesn't continue doing this <laughs> crap. <laughs> yeah, he just. He should have stopped like 10 minutes ago. And meanwhile, we have uh, ground armor. Uh, level 1 upgrade coming for water, also a spire and probably melee upgrade uh, level 1 as well. So, if this game goes, say, 5 minutes longer, Manx is just going to lose. Like, if he lets Vortex actually get those mutas up, get those upgrades, he's just going to die. Like, he has no Manx chance. Manx is going to third base. Yeah, but, like, the fact is, once that spire is up, the third base will die. Yeah. Well, he could just make spore crawlers though. If he ha has, um, uh, I mean, Wardox hasn't uh, hasn't done anything with his gas in his natural, and he barely has any drones there. Yeah, but Wardox is actually losing a lot of links in the middle. But then again, he did force a cancel on the yeah. third base. Yeah, and he has saved up a lot of gas, so we'll be able to do make at yeah, least ten lists in the first uh, batch. Yeah, I think he'll uh, make like 10 to 12 mutas and take um, the armor upgrade. You know what? Uh, Manx is actually way ahead of Arvis. He's is he? almost twice. He has oh, 37 nice. uh, against 22. That's real nice, but then again, does he know about the mutas? Yeah, that's, that's true. That's the big question. Like, I don't think he the does. The mutas pop right now and yeah. there's no spores yeah the this might so, this might okay. actually be a gg if he doesn't put up a spine okay, now he's making the spores like are you yeah. sure he's not watching the stream because like he has no idea about the spire he's making a yeah he's making six spores this just eight spores this doesn't make any sense no it, is, it doesn't oh nice nice pain hit and so, for some reason, Manx goes to shoot, but then he And he immediately makes a uh, Hydra then as well. How did, he, how did he lose so many units? Like, he's at 27 supply, what happened? I don't know, I think he lets in the Banelings or something. No way, those bail two Banelings just can't kill 50 supply worth of units. Like, no way, <laughs> no way, that should never happen. What happened? Oh, he saw the mutalisks, he said. How? They just popped when he started making those spores. I don't know. I'm not saying he's stream cheating, I'm just saying it's kind of odd. Yeah, it, it, he was actually on the map all over and uh, he uh, Wartox pl did place his mutas right into the middle of the map, so... Oh, uh, well, um, I don't I mean, know, if he, if he had an overlord right outside, like, Vortex is natural or main, he probably saw them. I'm not sure. Well, Vortex is down at 2-0. You mean Vortex is up 2-0? Yeah, he is up 2 <laughs> <laughs> Manx is down 0-2. I was like, wait, what happened? Didn't, didn't Manx just lose two games? Hmm. All right. So, um, whose map pick is it? Uh, it's uh, gonna be uh, Wardox's. Uh, oh, map this pick is gonna be so nice for him. Like getting the map pick on the third map when you're ahead to to nothing. That's like so nice. Yeah, but then again, it's a mirror map. It's not like it's gonna. Yeah, it's not that. It's not it's gonna, gonna change much. that much. But it's still, you know, nice to be able to play on a map. Yeah. That's with. I mean, some do it with losers um, pick, but we do it with um, 
Yeah, I think uh, with on turns because then yeah. it will be as fair as possible, I think. Yeah, I think this is actually, you know, when you want to have a tournament that's just purely for fun, yeah. I think taking turns on the map picks is just the right, the right way to go. Yeah. Also, Neo Planet S, this is a an interesting map for CVC because the rush distances are sh so short. Yeah. Like, a six pool hits you like 20 seconds earlier than it would on, say, uh, Neo Planet not new plan this say Aquilon wastes like earlier rushes become so much more effective and let's say um even mid game timing attacks like Roach plus one plus one timings or something like that they're gonna be so much more effective because like the third bases there's two possibilities for the for third base it's the uh, one on the high ground that's kind of easier to protect but then again it's it little. has this annoying path with the rocks and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's it's still not nice to protect. And then there's the other third base, and that's on the low ground, and it's got like three paths leading up to it. I actually find these, um, let's see here, these two bases to be the easiest to take. <laughs> because no <laughs> one ever checks them. Yeah, ever. that's actually true. Um, do you know the map they use in OSL, Kwangali Beach? Yeah, that's really uh, retarded map. <laughs> I actually like that. Like, not for you know. Yeah, I I like the map. It's, it's Don't get me wrong. It's very entertaining to watch. It's just, uh, I don't know what they were thinking when they were making it though. There's yeah, so like, many weird things on it. <laughs> yeah, like the uh, bases. What? Well, well, the base uh, at the bottom right corner. Well, most players probably don't even know it exists. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, Vortex is actually going for a 6 ball. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants to win. I mean, he's uh, about he's already 2-0, so yeah. he's got nothing to lose. If I were Manx, he should go go down with a 10 pull and hopefully win with that. Yeah. But he's not. He's gone 13 hatch. This is not. This is not going to be go well for him though. But if he can get a nice round, he won't actually lose anything. Because circlings aren't really that strong. Uh, but they can be... Oh, he actually went to 13 pool. That might... He might yeah. buy the time he needs to stop Thanks. this push. Just play safe. And you know this is the um, spine crawler that Bartox is probably going to place down. Early yeah. He's, he should be safe. <laughs> like, 13 pool is pretty much designed to... Yeah, he went an 8 pull though, didn't he? I mean, he has 8 workers, so... I don't know, it was 6 or 7. He made a bunch of drones after he started the pool. Oh, yeah. Here, here comes the spine call. Let's see here. And Manx is actually skipping guys and taking uh, an expansion. Oh, yeah, he sees, he sees the spine crawler. He sees the spine. But the question is, can he actually defend? <laughs> Just gonna get that. That was a very nice for for the drone to go around there because he, or else he would have seen it. Yeah. Nice cancel from Vortex. He's doing Vortex, it again. Vortex should actually just forget about the spine crawler and force a cancel on the hatch. Yeah. Because, like, but Manx's I mean, there's so many drones. There's no way it's gonna kill this. Nice supply block, like really heavily. Oh. Uh, Vortox yeah. said, Manx hasn't lost a single uh, drone yet. He hasn't. Lo he lost one drone. He lost one drone. <laughs> yeah. That's really good for him. Uh, yeah, like I said, Vortex should have just cancelled the hatch and, you know, expanded himself and take gas. Yeah. But no, he's actually still trying to win the game with the three Zerglings. Like, this is never going to work. No. He's not, if, if Manx pays attention, he will not even lose one drone. Yeah, and he sends a single... No, he I didn't. <laughs> that was just a misclick, it seems. Oh man, these oh games God, are so weird. Hatch. It's tiring oh. me out. <laughs> Alright, now he's going for the hatch, but is it too late? That's I mean, it, that will just give Manx more time if he goes for the hatch. There's no way he's going to get that down in time no, anyways. He actually has, he just has to get something done because like he's so far behind Manx. Yeah. Places and Waterx hasn't even started. His second person. No, he has a queen though, that's the start. 
and he sets up his extractor. Where's the queen? Oh, you mean Bartox? Yeah, Bartox has a queen. Manx doesn't. Manx should just make two uh, queens and it's done. Like, he never has to worry about these low speed, uh -huh. uh, slow zerglings anymore. Because, like, queens at this stage of the game against low zerglings, they just. Well. But what do you know? I mean, they're the same uh, number of workers, so Wartox actually got himself up. Uh, but here comes a counter attack, and I don't think he will be able yeah. to hold it properly without losing anything. Two base production versus one pay base production. Yeah. I don't. I don't actually see Wartox winning this. No, but then again, he ha hadn't much to lose because he's already ahead to you. So, if he could win it, it this easily, that that would be great for him. Yeah. This will be devastating because, yeah, you can see for yourselves, guys. This is pretty easy math. GG! Alright. Well then, Manx get to choose the next map. This is good. Wartok's <laughs> 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 oh. <coughs> throwing in the towel there. Doing a six ball. Maybe he was just doing it to be nice, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But then again, it's Akalon wastes. Okay. All right. You're a bit li little bit low right now, by the way. Am I? Yeah. Is it better now? Yeah, that's All right. better. All right. Probably that Windows issue again. Yeah. Let's play on the Windows. That sounds like an awesome idea. Yeah. <laughs> Like every time when something's wrong with your computer, you always just blame Bill Gates and Windows. Like, and with SC2, it's pretty much the same. But instead of Bill Gates and Windows, you just blame David Kim and Blizzard. Like, that's just so easy to do. <laughs> yeah. All right, this might be the last fight, the last match, the last battle of destiny of the swarm, or the I don't know what to call this actually. I mean, this is this is kind of like watching fruit flies trying to quarrel over uh, a, an apple or something. <laughs> this pretty much has to be the most low econ ZVZ series. I yeah, think. I would love to see some brood lords or or even infestors or ultralisks on awesome units, but no, we're just gonna see them trading links and bane links. That's yeah. what it's gonna be. Sometimes. There might be some universe. Yeah, but then it's GG, so we don't <laughs> actually don't <laughs> see that. But please, God, no brood lords. Yeah. I don't want to see a single brood lord in the heart of the swarm ever again. Like I've had enough with that <laughs> fucking unit <laughs> of liberty. Like every single game, brood lord, infester, corruptor, GG, and I actually got so fed up with that style that every single Zerg played that I actually. I just made a deal with myself. I would never ever build a single broodlord, and I didn't. And I actually, I actually still had a pretty decent win rate. Like in ZVP, I was probably the only Zerg ever to go uh, link in faster into ultralisks. Like ah. every, every single Protoss I ever played on the ladder, and. At 14 minutes, they see. You were you were probably win a lot of games though, because probably yeah, most most people try to counter Broodlord Infested, and then you didn't have that composition. Yeah, yeah. People went like uh, when they saw my fast half, I started my half at like something crazy, like nine minutes or something, and just rushed double upgrades and straight to um ultras. Every single Protoss like thought, okay, he's rushing for Broodlords, and starts Fleet Beacon. Mothership, and then I'm just <laughs> like, I have overload speed and twen uh, 10 overseers and yeah. a bunch of ultras. You have a mothership, two archons, and stalkers. Just leave the game, please. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like, every, every single protest would just rage at me for going ultras because they just had no idea how to deal with it. Like, yeah. they've never ever seen an ultra before. So That's the cool thing about using units that are not in the standard kind of things. So. Yeah, I always, you know, like to break the meta game just because 
well, that makes me less predictable. You know, I, I really like the um, I really like the uh, game currently in Harvest War because every single unit it's is being used in every single matchup. Yeah. Also, it's we actually have a kind of uh, interesting game coming because yeah. this is three hatch before pool, and this is ZVZ. Yeah, I, I don't know if you saw the chat, but they actually went down with a gentleman agreement. They said, "Should we go four in hatch and then?" Uh, exp uh, oh, that and explains. Yeah. And uh, and Wardog said, "Okay, let's do it." And they are. <laughs> well, Max is actually. Well, if they made the deal and both players actually, you know, respect it, yeah, Max is actually gonna be so far ahead because this is, this is the worst kind of economic cheese, like going yeah. three hats before pool in a ZVZ. Yeah. Like, it should never happen. I mean, he he's really trusting his opponent now because if Wartox <laughs> actually pushes, it, no, hell no, I'm just lying, man. And then he's sending his one base push in and just crushing everything. Yeah, I would love to see Manx's face if he went three hats before pool and Wartox is like, nah, joking, and goes for a six pool. <laughs> well, we have a bane nest coming up for um, Wartox, so he's definitely going to put up some pressure. Not actually very likely because he has a spine crawler and he's making only drones. Okay, so he wants it for defense then? Yeah, yeah, it's purely for defensive purposes. Like he okay. doesn't have a single link on the map, so that's. Yeah, he's possible. probably making sure that Max is uh, helping yeah. up with the bargain. <laughs> yeah. And I'm actually disliking Vodex's overload spread here. Like he has. One overload behind the natural where he's not. I, I'm not sure. Does he see the one gas? I don't know. Maybe he does. And then he has one overload all. No, he doesn't see the one gas actually. Oh well, that's. Well, I, th I think he sees only one. I see. He yeah, I think he one. should see the one. And then his second overload is outside the natural, and the rest of the overloads just don't do anything. While uh, Vortex actually, well, he has. Quite a nice overload spread, like he has one at uh, Vortex's third base and one uh, in front of the natural. So he's gonna see every single attack that's coming and yeah. he's also gonna see if uh, Vortex is gonna take an early third base. But then again, um, Vortex, he's covering the attack paths, uh, so he will definitely see where his opponent is uh, going out. Yeah, or coming that's, into his that's base. nice, but then again, Manx is on three bases, he's not gonna attack anytime soon. Yeah, he that's true. He has no idea about the third base. Yeah, like, he should definitely dis check that because since they agreed on doing a macro game, then yeah, he should definitely the check that, for a uh, third base. Yeah, and Vortex has a Zergling speed and a couple of Zerglings. Like, he should just, you know, just for shits and giggles, I guess, yeah. check that base. I mean, I guess uh, Vortex gets his hatchery now, but I guess Mo Manx is already way ahead since he has had his third hatchery for quite some time. Yeah, like Manx is leading by 14 drones. That's quite the big deal. Yeah. Team. But then again, Vortex is. Uh, he started his fire while Manx doesn't even have his lair complete yet. So. I don't know, it all comes down. To how well, much he, he's probably gonna when he feels that uh, well, mutilists might be coming in soon. Then he probably puts down a couple of uh, spore colors, and he ha can buy some time to get out to his own spire. Yeah, and he's just started the spire. I saw a second spire being constructed, but he cancelled it. Yeah, he just uh, probably didn't want it uh, to be seen, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Or no, he, he just definitely saw that. <laughs> yeah, he saw it. Manx is uh, moving his overlord in position so that he can be perfectly harassed by the mutilisks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like. There's no way that overlord is gonna run away. Yeah, no. Well, this is kind of the good, good side of things for Vortex by having a lack of overlord spread. Like, if the opponent goes for mutas, he's not gonna lose all that many. Uh, overloads. Whereas Manx, when Mutas come on the map, he's just gonna lose like 10 overloads. And that's gonna be really bad. Because 10 overloads, 
that's 1,000 minerals. All right, he has 1,700 minerals, so it's not gonna hurt that much, but still. Exactly. Um, and Nexus is actually, uh, now. Nexus is actually getting overload speed instead of the Mutilisk armor upgrade. That's... Yeah. It has to be a misclick. Or not, now he's starting the armor I don't know, he, he actually uses that quite a lot. He usually has the overload speed. Maybe he... I don't know, maybe he wants to go for circling drops. The best tactic ever. Yeah, but then he would ha actually have to get the um, drop. But right now we see um, he is losing three overlords at once. Yeah. But I don't think that matters. He's way ahead when it comes to both supply and the supply cap. So he, he can lose those overlords. Yeah, and he's even in the mutilist count. Yeah. But, like, yeah, overload speed is a nice upgrade, but uh, in ZVs, even both players are going mutas. Do you rather take one extra muta or overload speed? Because you can, you still can't spread your overloads all around the map. Like, they're just simply going to die. So I would always rather take the one extra muta. This is such a, uh, it's such a much better game, I feel. There's so much uh, stuff happening at the, same, at the screen at the same time. Everything yeah. moves so fast, and he's gonna take those off guard. Nice, getting a couple of free shots at these mutalisks. That's always nice. Yeah. Not gonna do much though, since the mutas has a fast health region. Yeah. You know what? Mutalisks, they're the most annoying unit in the game. Uh, actually, next to salads, I think salads are the most annoying, especially with charge. They're like yeah. they're like flies or mosquitoes. They just never stop chasing you. <laughs> yeah, and you know, late game Protoss War Prism harass with you know plus three, plus three, plus three charge zealot warpings in your main base and third base and fourth base and you know every single base you ever will have yeah it's like so annoying because those damn things won't just die yeah exactly and you're ever gonna only kill the zealots and nothing else nothing important yeah. this might be no nothing is gonna uh, happen no, here you know mutas still are the same speed as the other mutas so yeah catch up <laughs> unfortunately Well, Max has two less mutalisks, so he will, he can win an engagement easily if he engages it properly and gets the first shot or shots off. Yeah, well, but I don't actually know about that because Wadex finished his uh, plus two flyer armor. Ah. Oh. Plus one, actually, sorry. And he's about to finish his plus one attack from Mutas. Meanwhile. Manx is getting the plus two armor, which is actually just useless. He should always get the plus one attack after the plus I, one. I can armor. see that he has plus one armor as, uh, on his. When he is, oh yeah, he is. Sorry, yeah, yeah, I was, I was watching this two. wrong thing. Yeah, yeah he has. Uh, is getting plus two armor, which is completely useless at this point. Like that's two hundred and fifty gas. But then again, he is transitioning into investors, so. Well, it all comes down to can he even get those infestors up, and if he can, can he land? Yeah. Forty-one mutilists to thirty-four, and that's probably how the game goes, I guess. Yeah, this is just way too much. Ah, <laughs> uh, is he gonna get something? No. If he's lucky, he might get a couple of mutilists. Well, at least that one low health mutilist. But... Yeah, that's. Not the fight you want to take. No, like that's, definitely that's not. That's 11 mutas against like 40. That's not gonna end up, end up well. No. But then again, he has 5 infestors on the way. So that could be his saving grace if he manage, manages to uh, land the perfect finals. Yeah. But I would still like to see a Hydralisk then being added. Like, Hydras and Fungal against Mutas, that's like the perfect combination. Alright. Alright. Oh, the mutas are clumped up. The mutas oh, are still if he, if he can get one fungal up, then that's basically... <laughs> yeah. It, would you call that GG if he gets one uh, fungal up? 
well, not one, but if he manages, manages to get a ton of mutas that are clum clumped up yeah. and fungus it once, and if he manages to keep the chain alive, chain of fungus alive, then yeah, it's GG because like 40 mutas. That's an insane amount. That's what are we trying to flank here? Oh, what the huge cloud of mutas. <gasps> oh my god. They're so clumped up. Where are the fungus? Where's the fungus? They aren't there. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, that's no, one. Oh, he missed them. Too late. Yeah. Way too late. All the masters are gone. That's like. Yeah, that's not. He that. lost too much in that engagement. I. Yeah. This... Would you say that he wouldn't be able to get back into the game from here, or? Yeah. Well, he has one in first two. Yeah. That's not gonna be. Enough. And Vortex is making ten more meters. So. Yeah. This is. This is quite the sad story, you know. He had those infestors, uh, Vortex's mutas were clumped up, but some, for some reason he just didn't fungal. Like, if he ha had landed four fungals... No, I think like maybe he was looking somewhere else when... Um, yeah, it could be. When Vortex were attacking. And there's a Ling counter-attack at... Yeah, he's gotta and take both bases. hatcheries at the same yeah. time. There's no yeah, Manx is down to two bases against Vortex's four. Yeah. This is really bad for him. But yes, he has infestors, but he has to get so lucky with the fungus right now. Yeah, really I mean, they're so that. difficult to hit with them, I guess, when uh, the mutas are so fast. Yeah, mutas are so fast in how this. Well, they've always been fast, but they're even faster now. And the fact that fungal growth is a pro projectile now, it's not instant cast. Yeah. So that makes it so much harder to actually get those magic. But effects. I think that's pretty nice actually, because before fungal was kind of like a, a storm that doesn't let you uh, micro out of it. Yeah, yeah, I I completely agree. Fungals were just stupid in Wings of Liberty. Like once you get one fungal, it's and you have like ten faster. It's pretty much cheap. yeah. Yeah, three mutas against I don't even know how many. Um, the twenty one versus mutas. forty-five mutas, really. We have three infestors, so I mean, yep. he might turn it around if he's lucky. But I mean, Manx he has such a huge bank, but he almost has no gas. Yeah. So that's probably where he's lacking. There are no units that actually counter mutalisk when you have that many, are there? No, not really. That's kind like of lame. Like, fungals and, like... Oh... Magic, magic fungals and, say, 40 hydrolysks with good upgrades. <laughs> that, if you're lucky, it might be... It might, you know, do the job, but... I don't yeah, know. but it's so much easier to control the immunalisks. They can, can fly everywhere. Yeah. I think Wotox got his fourth up first, didn't he? Wotox. Yeah, he got his fourth up yeah, first. Yeah, I, I think he did. So he uh, got Max the is probably going to look no, he's actually he's got a ton of things, he's gonna be fine. Yeah. Well, then the cloud of mutalis going yeah. in here, I mean Bordox he I think he could have ended it pretty much yeah, but he long ago, but I think he's playing you know, safe. Yeah, he wants to play safe because he knows Manx has those investors, so he do he just doesn't wanna you know a move and get his mutas clumped up and suddenly they are all caught in the fungus and die. So he just he just wants to play it safe. And yeah. Do you know what I would do if I were Manx right now? Yeah. He has so much minerals. I would just spam the entire base with spore callers and then use the rest of the money to make remake the drones. I would probably do the same, but I would add some queens so I can spread my creep, uh, oh, spread my creep faster. My so, uh, 159 links. This is not. Yeah. <laughs> if he should, he should uh, spread them out in four different groups so he can actually. Oh now it's actually now my FPS is dropping down to 12. <laughs> 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 so, so many links. I think he's gonna do some damage here. He's at least gonna force uh, Wardox to get out. And he, Max is not gonna lose anything to this, even though he loses all those links. It's just not worth anything because he has such a huge bank. Yep. Max is actually doing all the time. Oh, 
He almost he got the hatch tree down. Hive, he oh, he got Funkles down. Oh, that's I don't think that's there's enough. This is enough. That's the real question. There's one more Funkle. Oh! Oh my god, look at oh the HP! Oh he actually... Oh! No, Jesus! Needs... That was so close, he could have killed the... all yeah, of them. that's the plus two armor and the region. That's just one more Funkle and... Yeah. I wouldn't have one, but no. What's Magnus gonna do at this point? He can make... Oh god. It's oh, he's making... No. Seven Ultras. Yeah. Seven this Ultras is... for Warthogs. Magnus is going to be so sad when he sees those pop. Granted, Why there can't... are no melee upgrades or ground upgrades for those Ultras, but then again, when you're facing a couple of Mudas uh, and hundred links, that... Just awesome. Yeah. I mean, I mean Manx is really good at keeping it in this game, even though he's, yeah, he's kind he's of lost in his ultras. Oh shit! <laughs> 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 Once he gets the hatch, that's that's something. That's something. Yeah. Do you know the meme? It's something. I mean, if he if he had just one more infester, that would have meant at least one more yeah. frangle, and that would have meant all those mutants dying. If so that was so close. Or he would have actually won. And he oh. could have had actually made because he he, ha he had a gas for it, but now I don't well, know. This is going to be a yeah, this is going to be a rollover. Party, you know, There's no way he's going to stop this. Oh man, those drones! Oh man. Mute us in the main. Ultra he's, he's just keeping his spamming his links and sending over, hoping to do some damage. <laughs> but this one is it's at the 27 minutes. There's no way he's gonna be able to. Uh, he's not gonna be able to use base race with it when he has the uh, ultras. Oh, he's he's placing <laughs> extractors he's all over the map. <laughs> oh my God! Look at this. Well, he wants the base trade. Yeah. And to be honest, well, Vortex still has 13 drones, but I don't know where they are. Yeah, he's pulling back his, uh, back his mutilis. He re realizes that he doesn't need to have them there. They don't yeah. kill bases very fast, anyways. Actually, 40 mutas with. Well, it's only 24 right now, but yeah, that amount of mutas with plus one attack, they actually do kill. Yeah. But, but yeah, buildings are a different story. But yeah, zero supply against. <laughs> yeah. He knows this. He knows. He knows it. He said exactly the same as we did. That means I'm a good caster. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Get it on. And we have another. This is actually the third championship for Wartox. He he won this. Oh, nice. uh, this is the third time he's won um, uh, the Diamond Weekly, out of four. So last time it was Ruben, a uh, Protoss player who won, and he uh, destroyed Warthox. <laughs> uh, this is, uh, I really like this last map, we got to see more units. Yeah, this was an awesome game. Um. So, that's that. Congratulations to Warthogs and nice yeah, nicely played from both players to be honest. Definitely, and I think that uh, since this was uh, best of five, Warthogs has gone three one versus Manx. This concludes the fourth Diamond Weekly. So, uh, anyone who is watching, uh, thank you very much for watching and. Give a shout out and a hug to Kalma, who was my awesome cold caster today. Yay, thank you everyone. <laughs> and day. hopefully we'll see more of him because he really likes to, or he really wants to do this kind of thing. So, you're gonna hear more from Kalma, aren't we? Aren't we? Yes. Cool. But only if you want to. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> Yeah, thanks to everyone for watching, and it was a huge pleasure for me to actually come and cast, and hope you enjoyed. Yeah, I'll see you guys. No, I can't say that. That's husky. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, have fun, guys, and GG or something. Uh, <laughs> the next week will, will be on Monday. That's bronze. We haven't had any signs yet. So if any of you guys are bronze league, please sign. And you, if there's only one, there will probably be an auto win for you. <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, seriously, just sign because uh, we'd really have like to have some bronze matches as well. Anyways, so if you know any you know bronze buddies you have that play SA2 just for fun, or if you play for fun yourself and are in well any league, just check out um what's the website Team Blood Team Bloodlust does dot net yeah yeah check that website out. There's um I think there's a tournament. Five days a week? Yeah, they're supposed to be, but we haven't actually had a single bronze tournament. <laughs> right. yeah. uh, so anyways, there's supposed to be five tournaments a week, so, you know, check the website out and sign up for the tournament that happens to suit your league. And, you know, just come come chill out and f have fun, play some yeah. games and, you know. You, you can also just join the Team Bloodless chat that's uh, in-game group in StarCraft 2. Uh, we have a small community r there right now, 26 members. And it's growing every day, so if you join there, then you can find practice buddies and talk about strategies and anything you like, actually. So it's it's a great tool as well to get in touch with um, the weekly leagues and get your information there and s yeah, have an easy way to chat with us, really. So, all right, bye.